This is your Tuesday Space Pod. We're joined by Tim Dodd, the everyday astronaut, here to talk about a rocket I thought was gone, the Delta II. Tim, what's up? Well, yeah, that's kind of, well, sort of still some saddish news. If you're a fan of the Delta rocket, we're coming up on the penultimate launch. There's only one more after this one uh, of United Launch Alliance's most turquoise rocket, the Delta II. Now, this thing, I, I'm a pretty big fan of this, of this little thing. I mean, it's, it's a smaller rocket than some of ULA's other rockets. And on Friday, November 10th at 947 UTC uh, or 147 AM Pacific Local, United Launch Alliance will be launching the first of a pair of polar orbiting weather satellites for the NOAA. Um, now, this launch has been delayed a number of times already. It was supposed to launch March 16th of this year. Uh, and then again, it was supposed to launch September 21st. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we're hoping that it launches now here November 10th. So um, I like to think of this as a plucky little rocket. <laughs> um, in my opinion, it's the most Kerbal of all rockets because look at all of those solid rocket boosters they can sling on that thing. Uh, they can they throw nine SRBs on this thing sometimes. Um, and that's actually no exception for this particular launch because uh, that's what this launch will be doing. We'll be having nine of those SRBs and it just looks so, so Kerbal. I love it. I, I just am very fond of this. Um, and these, these solid rocket boosters caused a kind of famous explosion in 1997. Uh, which <laughs> is some of the biggest fireworks we've like ever seen, I think. I, this is just it's crazy. It's beautiful in its like destructive power, just raining yes. fire down on the Cape. Yes, like melting cars and crazy. Now, this happened in uh, 1997. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> fingers crossed that nothing like this will happen again. Uh, but the, Bel the Delta's been in service since 1989. It's seen 153 launches in total. Uh, and 151 successes, so it's a very reliable rocket. Um, and again, it's not very big, it's only about 39 meters or 125 foot tall, 2.4 meters wide, which is about eight feet. Um, and despite its small size, one of my favorite things, one of the reasons I love the Delta II, is it's been, uh, it's, it's, it's flown almost everything to Mars, which is crazy, because you think of Mars as needing a big, crazy, heavy rocket, but you know, uh, most of the things that we've actually sent to Mars are relatively light, uh, besides Curiosity, and yeah, despite that, the Delta has been what's flung most of the things towards Mars, most of which is really cool. So um, there will be one more launch with uh, Delta II, and that will be uh, the ISAT-2 next year, which is, will be launched on a 7300 series Delta II rocket. And if these two rockets are fine, this will be 100 uh, uh, consecutive successful launches in a row of the Delta II. So so soak it up while you can. You know, this is kind of the end of an era for United Launch Alliance and for the Delta II. Yep. Thank you so much. I love the uh, analogy with uh, Kerbal, or at least the parallels with Kerbal. That is, uh, <laughs> I had never looked at it that way. That is uh, kind of hilarious. Also, uh, that video, if you want to look at it up, the uh, Delta II pad anomaly, uh, the public affairs officer of, uh, we've had an anomaly, <laughs> is, always gets me every time. I'm like, yeah, you have. It's yes, apparent. That's good. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Our rocket turned into fireworks. <laughs> yes, it did. Thank you so much, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. Uh, if you like this and other space news, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And when you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe and the little icon, a uh, little um, uh, doorbell icon to make sure that you get updates as to when we go live each week. If you'd like to see our last week's show with the Brooke Owens Fellows, uh, click right over here, and uh, we'll see you next week.